Hello, and welcome to Project Data Analytics Hack 10. This is our team, GPT-3 ACES, where we took on the challenge to create a work breakdown structure using GPT-3 artificial intelligence. Understanding the path your project will follow at its in step inception stage will greatly improve its outcomes. By leveraging the power of AI trained on past project data, we can finally bridge this challenging knowledge gap. This is how we did it. The data we used for this project consisted of 133 project types with 7,000 work breakdown structure lines that we used to train our model and 52 project cards or charters that we use to validate our model. Project descriptions and WBS were taken from the Operations Research and Scheduling Research Group website. The WBS descriptions were in Dutch, so these were translated into English using DeepL Translate. This information is then used by the GPT ACES application as prompts to the Open AI API using the completion API. The response can then be used to enhance the user's understanding of their project. One. Open AI's GPT-3 is still new and its potential is still not fully understood. We have taken this API and built breakdown structure generator. We have created backend in Python. Initially, we wanted to create the front end in Power BI. However, due to unresolved circumstances and technical issues, we did in Python in the end. To begin with, uh, we all tested all the capabilities of the model and then reported back with the findings. This included a lot of trial and errors. Original documentation of the GPT-3 contains a few tips on how to improve the accuracy of the model. However, unfortunately, this does not help much and can't help with the accuracy a lot. The ideal way to train the model would be, uh, you know, to train the weights of the model itself. However, we are not granted such access and had to follow up with a weaker option. Fortunately, in regards to the future versions of this project, it leaves a lot of door for improvement. Regarding the evaluation, regarding the evaluation, we look at the breadth of the answers. Is there enough variation? Are the answers repeated? And after extensive trial and error uh, period, we are comfortable to say that the results are original for the most scenarios and are not repeated. Next, the depth of the answers. This depends on the trial. Not all questions provide detailed answer. However, we found out the trick of simply brute forcing it and asking for more answers and then programmatically selecting the best one. This also caused us to fully deplete seven API keys, which is a shame because we would, love, would, would have loved to do for more experimentation. Lastly, uh, to answer you know, the answers, do they actually make sense? And majority of the time we think so. And at the very least, we are very confident in saying that there is a lot of potential hidden in this tool. Uh, that's it. We developed, uh, built upon the translated from transformed data as we've spoken about earlier on, uh, then pushing this out to the OpenAI uh, GPT-3 uh, API. We pulled this back in and developed um, uh, relatable WBSs uh, for the free entry text description of a project. Uh, if we go to the next slide, you can then see uh, our demonstration. So up here, we developed this, uh, this front end. You describe your project. Um, so one story house, you can see here, you click the submit button, it pulls back a WBS. You can hit again and see how many different variations you get, being that this is GPT-3, it can change. And in this instance, we change it to a flood embankment wall. Uh, and again, it came up with a different uh, WBS output. Now, we did notice that uh, uh, the GPT-3 uh, system was pulling back content that was outside of our explicit data set. Here you can see the, the single button click to export the WBS to a recognizable Excel or CSV format. Uh, and uh, just to go back, we, we noticed that we were getting some bleed through of non-specific data. So we would like to progress this a little bit further uh, and uh, adjust the API to allow us to direct to our training set only exclusive 
of the wider GPT-3 set uh, and try and make the return to WBS a little more specific to the entry that was going in. Thank you. What is your confidence in the GPT-3 algorithm to provide the right answer? How will you qualify this? To answer the question, GPT-3, as we know, a generative pre-trained transformer depends on the deep learning it receives by user-provided training data sets. In our experience, GPT-3 algorithm returned a fairly confident output with a few inconsistencies as we have expected. This could be improved if it provided a greater configurable flexibility in the use of GPT-3 models and related APIs. This is qualified by the output we have received, including some departures from the expectation, such as WBS coding structure without task names, task name without fixed WBS code, and generic activity descriptions outside the curated data. Question two, would it be possible to use GPT-3 to have a conversation with you to clarify some of the variables specific to the type of project that you are delivering? answer to this one yes this should be possible by combining functionalities available within gpt3 a chatbot style front end could respond to the initial input with follow-up questions for example from create a wbs structured list for, for building a house the responses would follow how many floors will this house have what is the total floor area of this house what is the available budget to build this house and how long will it take to build this house? The responses to these chatbot style questions could then be appended to the initial prompt for the creation of the WPS list output, helping to refine it. Three, we have used of 132 individual projects contained in the supply train data of 52 unique projects, as these only had all record types we recommend to use an optimal training size of 500 to 1000 unique projects to significantly improve the efficiency of gpt3 model 